Ready for the grand pumpkin reveal? Oh, 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 this is heavier than I thought it would be still. Hey everyone, it's me, Katie Beth again. So Amazon got me again with those ads that show up on Instagram and Facebook all the time. The one I'm talking about right now is the pumpkin carving. Easy to do ad. Let me show you what I found. Oh, it's hard to see with that light in the way. So this is the ad that it showed me on Instagram, which led me to Amazon to like buy this product. And basically it's cookie cutters that you hammer into your pumpkin to make pumpkin carving a lot easier and more precise. So right away, the crazy consumer that I am was like, Shut up and take my money. I need to buy this now. But before I hit the buy now button, I thought, those are some really simple, kind of boring looking pumpkins. I think I can do better. So instead of buying the generic triangle eye pumpkin cookie cutters, I decided I should purchase instead the more exciting, different Halloween shaped and fall shaped cookie cutters, which I also bought on Amazon. So the ad still worked, Amazon still got my money. So in this video, I'm going to try out that concept ugh, with this pumpkin I bought at Walmart at six in the morning when they open. It was like three bucks, it was like 3.88. So like $4 for this pumpkin, which is a great deal because it is like a weightlifting tool on itself. Do some CrossFit with this guy. So with my handy dandy Harbor Freight one pound mallet, I'm going to try that concept of pumpkin carving with cookie cutters and a mallet. So without further ado, let's try getting into this. So first things first, I had to figure out how to cut the hole on the top, how I wanted to do that. So I just went at it with a knife and I did try to make the opening bigger than I normally would think I'd want to make a pumpkin opening bigger just because the bigger the opening, the easier it'd be to reach in and grab all that gunk out. Here's all the gunk. And so right away I started separating seeds from some of the gunk because I knew I wanted to use the seeds afterwards. And this is what it looked like when I was done. I tried to get all the, the strings off, but the more I kept stringing, the more they just kept coming off in strings, like the more I scraped it. It's kind of like spaghetti where it just peels right off, like spaghetti squash. And I kept eating it also, like a weird freak of nature that I am. And here's my seeds and the insides of the pumpkin. A lot of spaghetti looking squash stuff and a, a decent amount of seeds there. And then I went straight into opening up the package of cookie cutters. I didn't look at them too much before because I just wanted to open them up and get a cool check at what we've got in here. So first we have the witch hat and then a spider, but I might use it as a sparkle. A bat, pretty cool. A witch, no, that's a pumpkin with a hat on. Witch broom next. Uh, acorn, a squirrel, yeah, squirrel and an acorn. Then I have another pumpkin, so a pumpkin and a pumpkin with a witch hat on, I guess. A ghost, might use that. Candy, a leaf, a witch on a broom, and uh, I don't know what this is. It's like a lemon or an odd pumpkin. It's kind of a waste of a cookie cutter. But last and the best, we have a skull and bones. So I decided I'm going to go with my squirrel and my acorn as the main pitcher, and then maybe put some extra ones in later. So next I have to figure out which side is the front of my pumpkin. And I think this is the front. So now I just gotta turn it back around to face me so I can start hammering in these shapes. So this is where I started getting the idea that maybe hammering on top of a pumpkin might not be the best way to go about it because I might get a smashed hammered pumpkin. Uh, so I tried to hammer it lightly but absolutely nothing happened. Not even any indents. So then I tried to just pressure it in and it's really hard to get a cookie cutter in there. And the ends are fairly sharp enough, you would think. So I just keep trying to pressure it in and I got one corner in. So once I got one corner in, I just tried to keep pushing and cut more edges into it. 
but it's still really frightening that you're gonna just smash this pumpkin. So I got the squirrel in, and next I got the acorn, and they're still not through. Like, I pretty much have the cookie cutters all the way hammered into the pumpkin. And it looks really cool, actually. They're, just, they're not going through. So now I'm trying to pull them out. It's not working, so I grab a knife and just try to cut them out. And uh, it's still not all the way through the pumpkin. You can see when I push away the pumpkin, there's still plenty of room that they would need to go through, like another half an inch almost, quarter to a half an inch. So they're basically just stuck in there. So I grabbed it out and it did uh, get a big chunk of the pumpkin out, just not enough. So it's kind of cool. I left parts of each of them in, so maybe it'll look cooler later. And here you can see they just definitely would not go all the way through the pumpkin. So that idea was not the best. So this is uh, the pumpkin that I ended up with. I honestly thought it was going to come out a lot better than this, but this is where we are. So lessons I learned while making this pumpkin, this little beauty, is if you're going to use pump, uh, cookie cutters to carve your pumpkins, they need to be a lot longer than this. I'm not sure if the ones they sell on Amazon specifically for pumpkin carving are longer than this, but they should be. If they're not, don't order them. Or maybe I just needed a smaller pumpkin with thinner walls on it because this still had like a quarter to a half an inch more that it would have needed to go through. And just putting these in there, you're really just embedding cookie cutters. Which is cool, I guess, if you want to embed shapes, like make it look like they have cool piercings. But to get the shapes actually out, didn't work that well. I somewhat like this effect that it didn't go all the way through in some places because you can see light through them. So it adds another dimension. But because pumpkins are so stringy, I don't like that you still see the strings on them. And again, inside, since I couldn't get it completely to stop stringing, it just looks like there's worms in there. There's not. They're pumpkin. It's like spaghetti pasta. It's pieces of spaghetti pumpkin. I am using just this little LED light from the 99 cent store. I think it was like $5.99 and you got a few of them. Uh, they're almost one time use batteries basically on them or are for like one night only and then the batteries are gone. So you have to keep replacing the batteries if you want to keep using them. I did find out, as I showed you in the video, or as I'm showing you now, that the cool colors don't look as nice as the warm colors. just because one it makes it look more wormy and two it just is a better fire effect to have warmer colors so this is my pumpkin for this year Halloween is tomorrow so I'm not gonna bother decorating it anymore but if I had made this in advance and it had more than a day to live its Halloween life and I made this I'd probably paint more on the outside to get it more festive than just this however since it's got like 24 hours to live its pumpkin life. I think this is pretty good. I'm going to cook up those pumpkin seeds now and have a pumpkin seed snack for tomorrow also. Pretty cool. Next year, my plans for my pumpkin, I think I'm going to want to actually use all the extra pumpkin that came out of it and like make food out of it. So next year, it's something to look forward to. Well, thank you all for being here and watching my weird pumpkin experiment with me. I'm sad I didn't get it to turn out better, but Oh, well, that's what experiments are for, right? And now you don't have to try it with regular cookie cutters at your house and uh, be disappointed because I'm, I'm disappointed enough for all of us. But actually, I guess I'm not that disappointed because it's still pretty cute. It's cuter than anything I would have designed out of my own head to pumpkin car. I probably still would have went with the traditional shapes, which were the reasons, which was the reason I ended up not getting this kit for it anyhow, the normal kit. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks here for being with me. Uh, if you're already subscribed to this channel, thank you, thank you so much. And if not, please feel free to hit that like and subscribe button down below. I don't know which side it's going to be on. My brain's all combobbled today. But if you subscribe, you do a lot of crafts, uh, experiments, sewing, trips, adventuring, and 
reviews and unboxing. So pretty much uh, a random mix of bumbled of whatever's up here at any given time. And also liking and subscribing is a free way to just help a girl out. Help me, I'm poor. My channel is almost up to a thousand uh, subscribers, so that's pretty exciting. That which the thousand is the threshold on which you can make any money at all. They don't allow you to make any revenue on your videos from all the commercials being played until you get to a thousand and almost there. So that'd be really helpful if anyone wanted to just give a little subscription at the end. I know I'm rambling, but thank you, thank you so much for being here with me, everyone. Happy Halloween and have a great spooky evening day. Just keep it spooky out there. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye. I think the bottom is like the pumpkin's belly button. Like how people have belly buttons. I think that's the pumpkin's belly button. Real weird to think about, huh?